price of a bond is reaching new all-time highs every month it seems. I mean, just this past summer, it hit 14 mil buy price in the GE. That's crazy. So today I'm going to show you how to make 1 million GP every day, every time you log on for only about 30 minutes of your time. Starting off strong is a method I never see anyone talk about, and that's brewing mature ales or ciders. There are only two places where brewing can be done, and this is by using the fermenting vats in Eastern, Eastern Keldegrim on the second floor of the Laughing Miner pub, and the other in Port Phasmatis, under the Green Ghost Pub. The main ingredients for ales are two buckets of water, two barley malt, and one ale yeast. For this example, I'm brewing Greenman's Ale, which requires four Harlanders and only a cooking level of 29. The easiest way to get to Keldegrim is by using the rail cart transportation system. This is located just northwest of the GE. If you take the rail cart, you'll end up on the east side of the city, so just head up north to the bar and then head up to the stairs and you'll find the fer fermenting vat. Once here, just use two buckets of water on the vat, followed by the barley malt, then use your next ingredient. So like I said, mine's the Harlanders. Then lastly, you use the yeast on it. Your character will automatically put all the ingredients in the vat once you click on it once, so you don't have to keep clicking on each ingredient. Once I was done with the first vat, I went over to Port Phasmatis in the basement of the pub and repeated the same exact process. Now you do have to wait about a day for it to ferment, so we'll check back at the end of the video to see how much these sell for, and I'm telling you right now, it's a lot. Up next for our second method, we're going to be doing some farming of fruit trees. For this I chose to do papaya trees because they only require a farming level 57. The trees themselves are fairly cheap, and the payment used for the farmers to watch the trees so it does not die is really cheap as well that being only 10 pineapples. Alternatively, you could plant palm trees, but they're a bit more expensive, and the coconuts they produce are about the same price as papayas. You can see here, a papaya sapling costs right under 1K, while a palm sapling is 17K. For one papaya sapling and 10 pineapples, it's only gonna cost you about 2,500 GP. And once fully grown, you can repeatedly pick the papaya tree for six papayas. So right now they're going for about 2,300 GP each. That's almost 14K per tree. We are also going to be planting Yanel hops with the requirement of only 16 farming and there are only three hops patch locations. Alternatively, I guess you could plant jute plants at 13 farming, but again, this method is cheaper and yielding just as much GP as the expensive option. Seeds are one GP each, and tomatoes are 28 GP each, and you only need five of them in a basket for each patch. As you see here, your character picks off fruit from the tree, yielding six fruit every time. This tree totaled 13,818 GP from the six fruits we picked off of it, and there are a total of six fruit tree patches in the game. So if you guys want a more detailed walkthrough of where all the patches are and how to get to them all, check out the farming guide video I have. I'll link that up above here. But getting back to the video here, there are six patches and I collected a total of 36 papaya fruits and profited 83K. For the three hops patches, I did the same exact thing. You do need a spade and you can continuously collect the hops until the patch runs out and then you do need to replant it after, unlike the fruit trees. For this one patch, I was only able to collect about 10 of them, but for my second patch, holy crap, look at this. I got 62 of them for 88k just on this one patch. The last one, I was able to collect 14, so the numbers do vary. You could bring super compost to um, yield more. Uh, I believe I did that on these, but for the total of the three patches, I got 121k, included with the 36 papayas we just did, and that's... 205k already. For our fourth and next method, this really only takes about three minutes of your day, and that's doing birdhouse runs. You can start this with as low as level five hunter, going all the way up to level 89 hunter for the best birdhouse you can put. For this example, I'm using magic birdhouses at level 74 hunter. There are four birdhouses on Fossil Island, and all you need is a birdhouse that fits your hunter level and some seeds for it. Birds' nests are going for about 8k right now and are, seem to always be going up in price. From the bird's nest, you can get a variety of low-level to high-level seeds, bird eggs, and jewelry. From these four birdhouses, I got a total of 73k, 
Not a great run, but I guess you could say that's the average. Our next few collection methods are a classic and are pretty well known. That being low cost or free items for N from NPCs after completion of some achievement diaries. First is reduced cost of staffs, which I'm sure a lot of you know from Zaf's staff shop. Let's try saying that five times fast in Varrock. I have the hard Varrock diary completed so I can collect 60 battle staffs for 420k. After selling them in the GE, I did profit 57k. Next, I used the Zarek Talisman to teleport to the Zarek's Inferno to collect free dynamite, and this gave me a profit of 21k. Next, we exchanged 120 flax for bowstrings, giving me about 13k. Again, for both of these two me methods I just mentioned, I do have the hard diary completed. And the last item collection is ogre arrows. For this, I only have the medium diary done, so I got 50 arrows for about 10k GP. I'm going to go ahead and insta sell all of them just to see how much I can collect. Remember, this is only a few minutes of your time each day you log on. So it looks like from these four tasks, I got about 395k. Now, if you remember earlier in the video, I was brewing some ales. So let's go see if at least one, if not, you know, hopefully both of them fermented. Thank God. Okay, it does look like we have success with one of these. So all you have to do is bring eight beer glasses and pull the lever right here next to the barrel. Then just use one beer glass on the barrel eight times. So I'm going to price check them right now. Looks like they're going for about 66K each. So that's a total of 533K. And unfortunately, the second one did not mature, but that's all right. Because it looks like each ale is going for about... 1k so just an extra 8k on top of it once here in the ge i just chucked them in and uh tried to see what they were going for and it did look like they're going for almost 80k each so i ended up getting 633k from all eight of these green men ales that we just sold so the total price check for the five methods is a whopping 1 million 28k your passive 1 mil GP per day.